Miss Karen English Teacher presents Fill in the Blanks. Let's fill in the worksheet together. But before you begin, make sure you've watched the video and learned the words. Do you want to fill in the worksheet? Yes! Yeah! Yahoo! Have you got a pencil? Yes, I do. What are the answers? <laughs> I have no clue. But are you going to try anyway? Yes, because, because that's what successful people do. I really like your attitude. Have you always been this cool? Yes, I always try my best because Miss Karen told me that's what I should do. But what does that mean to try your best? It means I've decided I will not be afraid, even if I'm not as good as the rest. You mean you'll try to answer the questions, even if you might be wrong? Yes, because this is the school of life, and it's right here that I belong. Hmm, but what if at you and point and try to be mean. Well, that doesn't matter to me because I'm still part of the school team. And besides that, it's none of my business what other people think of me. I'm just going to work hard anyway. Stick around and you will see. Part one. Part two. Part three. Part four. The Wooden Sticks Lesson. Reduce, reuse, recycle, repair. Part one. Introduction song. First of all, before we begin, where did the wooden sticks come from? One day, Miss Karen, the past tense of the verb to be walking along the side of her neighborhood. One day Miss Karen was walking along the side of her neighborhood. Street. In the garbage she saw a bunch of wooden sticks. So she decided to stop her feet. She looked at the sticks and she to think. She thought to herself, these could be reused for, what did she make? Signs. So she starts with the letter T, took them home and wrote on them. And while she did, she had a wonderful, starts with T, time. Part two, reduce, use less stuff. Don't buy so many, starts with a TH, things. Do you really need more toys, more shoes, and more clothes? Or are you just buying them because they told you to on TV? Hmm. Reuse. Use your things many times. Use the same school bag and lunch bag for many. Starts with the letter Y. Years. Use the same markers and notebooks. Recycle. Make something new out of something else. 
Use old cereal. Starts with the letter B. Boxes. B O X E S. Or yogurt. Containers. C O N T A I N E R S. To make puzzles or art. Recycle your plastic things so that they can be melted into new shapes. Melted. M E L T E D. Repair. Fix it. Glue it. Paint it. Fix your broken kite, B R O K E N, broken kite, or your ripped jeans, ripped, R I P P E D, jeans. Glue your broken toys. Paint your old dresser instead of. Buying a new one. Buying, from the verb to buy. Buying, b u y i n g. Part three. Let's learn some question words. Number one. Your name. My name is. So, what would be a good question word that would fit there? If you want to know some information, you ask, "What? What's your name? My name is." Number two. Something many. Do you count? Huh. So, if you're counting something, it should be, "How many do you count?" Number three. Blank. I have a hug, please. Yes, you can. So, if the answer is yes, you can, then the question word would be, "Can I have a hug, please?" Yes, you can. Number four. Blank. Are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? So there, that person is asking. How are you today? How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? Number six. Blank. I go to the washroom, please. So the person is asking for permission. And so, look at number three. It's the same word. Can I go to the washroom, please? Number six. Blank. Do you say in English? So, if you want to know how do you say a word in English, so it's how. H O W spells how. Number seven. What is the question word for number seven here? Hmm. Let's look at the answer. The answer says Miss Karen. So that is the name of a person. So in that case, it should be, "Who is your English teacher, Miss Karen?" Number eight. Blank. You love me. Yes, I love you a lot. So when the answer is a yes or a no, the question is, "Do, do you love me?" Yes. I love you a lot. Section four. New questions. Number one. Does to repair mean to fix something? So if you see the word does, usually the answer is yes or no. In this case, yes, it does. To repair something means to fix something. Number two. 
What do we call it when we use something again? We reuse it. Reuse. That's one of the four R words. Number three. Where did Miss Karen find the wooden sticks? Now you're going to say a location. Where? She found them on the side of her street. Number four. What did Miss Karen do with the sticks? She reused them to make signs. What did she do? She reused them. Number five. Can you fix a kite or a ripped pair of jeans? So when you see the word can, your answer is going to be a yes or a no. Can you fix a kite or a ripped pair of jeans? Yes, you can repair them. And repair means the same thing as fix. Number six. What is it called when we melt a yogurt container and make something new out of the plastic? Ooh. It's called recycle because the item is modified. So when we change the item, we modify it. It's called to recycle it, to make something into something new. Number seven, should you care about the environment? And again, just like the word can, when you see the word should, the answer should be yes or no. In this case, yes, you should, because one day your children will need clean air, clean oceans, and clean forests. So yes, you should. You should care about the environment. Number eight. Do you need a new pencil case every year? When you see the word do, it's either yes or no. In this case, no, I don't. Number nine. How can you reduce the garbage you use? Well, one suggestion is you could not use styrofoam dishes. So the answer could be don't use styrofoam dishes. Number 10. What are the four words that start with the letter R? The words that you learned in this lesson. Reduce, reuse, recycle, repair. Reduce, reuse, recycle, repair. Good job. You did the whole worksheet. Now it's your turn to show Miss Karen that you learned something. Choose five different question words. Use these to write your own questions and answers about the environment and Miss Karen's video. You can pause the video to review these examples of question words. Happy learning! Have fun! Bye bye for now! Woohoo! Miss Karen's spontaneous mini song! Everybody get up, it's time to move. Smile with your classmates, it's time to groove. You are the boss when it comes to your mood. So choose ooh, 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 a happy attitude. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Sit in silence, please.